All right, so welcome to Photoshop and today's quick tip of the day. And so this is going to be under the select menu and we're going to take a look at focus area and select by subject. Now these are newer to Photoshop. Now they didn't just come out in the 2019 version, but they're newer to the program over the last so many years. And so the, we'll notice right here, we have many selection tools. And Photoshop is known for this in that it has a lot of repetitive tasks. But what you'll find out a lot of times is that there's one specifically that works the best for that situation. Now knowing what that is and when is kind of the trick of understanding the program. So we have the lasso tool and then the polygonal and magnetic lassos, which are both selection tools. Then we have the quick selection tool and the magic wand. So under the lasso tool, we just have the selected mask is available up here. But if you come down to the quick selection tool, you'll notice that select subject or select subject is available. Now, select by focus area is not available anywhere on here that you're going to see. You're going to have to manually go up and do that. So we'll click this first one and it's select subject. Now I've picked this image because I know the background is has a really strong depth of field and is out of focus. So you'll notice that select subject and select focus areas will make a very similar selection. So they must be looking at areas that are um, in focus because like this is strongly different from this background but it's not getting selected. So I'm guessing that the program is is really relying on areas uh, that are definitely in focus. So that was select subject. So we have this selection. Now I will tell you, just because you use select subject doesn't mean it works perfectly. I think any time that you use either one of these tools, you need to use it as a selection and then go back up into select and mask and then refine your selection. If you have never used or you don't know how to use um, select and mask I will post a video at uh, a link to a video in which I go over that at the end of this video so I'm just gonna hit cancel so the next one I'm gonna hit command D just so we deselect that we're gonna go up to select focus area and so this gives you some options so we have a preview we can add to the selection sl subtract from the selection if we want so we can see the mask is here right now. It looks like it's messing up in this one little area. So this is something where you would kind of paint over it and try to get it to add to the selection. Now I'm making my brush bigger um, in case it doesn't realize that. It looks right here. It's not picking that up. And that's something I think where you need to go in and use selected mask. So I'm not going to be super accurate in making my selection here. Notice we have an in focus range. So it's giving you a range of what's in focus and out of focus. And as you would increase that, it would change your selection a little bit different. So in this one, I'm telling it, yeah, I want some stuff that's a little out of focus. And this worked really good because it's getting everything in my foreground except for that. Now it messed up this area right here. And so that's basically how you're going to do it. You're just going to have to kind of manually adjust this until you get exactly what you wanted selected or the best edge. There's also a softened edge. If um, I think softened edge is going to probably a good selection if you're not going to go into selected mask. You can also output in a variety of different ways. I would probably use selection here because I'm almost always going to go into selected mask after this to refine my selection and make it more accurate. So once I've done that, notice you have selected mask down here in the focus area, which is really nice because they're realizing in Adobe Photoshop that we might need to use that. So I can either hit OK and it will make a selection or I could have went and hit the selected mask and then I can go in there and then as we can see, I can zoom in here. There's a little area in which it didn't pick it up and I could go in there and fix that or take this out. Or since this bird has slight feathers, this is a great option to come in here. Use edge detection. So I've got some smart radius on and then I can just kind of paint over my area and it's going to pick up those little feathers and probably make a much better selection 
than it did initially. So we can see we're getting some of that stuff back. So that is how you use select by focus area and subject. These aren't things you're gonna use all the time, but it's definitely something that in certain circumstances will help you in making a more accurate and simple selection. So if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.